Show endings are always tricky. After fans have spent years and emotional energy investing into beloved characters, they become almost like extended family members. Fans expect when the series ends for there to be some sort of closure that not only wraps things up on a high note, but also ties up all the series' loose ends, mysteries, and plot arcs. So it makes sense a lot of shows end up feeling remarkably disappointing. But in this video, we'll be taking a look at a few series most fans consider to have ended pretty decently. So stick around as Facts First presents the best TV series finales with surprise endings. Mad Men When Mad Men wrapped up in 2015, the series' American setting was a very different place from where it was at the beginning of the show. Not only had America gone through some profound changes, but Mad Men's protagonist, Don Draper, was also in a very different place. Throughout the show, we saw Don go down a deliciously entertaining downward spiral. While he was at one point in control of everything, by the end he had relinquished all of that control. In the finale, we saw Don dressed in all white, meditating on a cliff in California while dreaming up what would end up becoming one of the most famous commercials of the era, the I'd Like to Buy the World a Coke ad. Don's apparent spiritual revival seemed fittingly cynical. It made sense that through his rebirth, he would end up using his newfound enlightenment to sell bubbly brown sugar water. Of course, the ending divided fans, but in our opinion, the way the series remained truthful to Don's character was perfect. Star Trek The Next Generation This series literally boldly went where no one had gone before. Ask any sci-fi nerd what their favorite Star Trek series was, and they'll almost always point you in this direction. Not only did Next Generation have an incredible cast, but also featured some truly out-of-this-world writing. Even those cheesy holodeck episodes that took place in settings like the Wild West or Nottingham, England during King Richard's reign were television gold. Patrick Stewart could do no wrong and is arguably the best captain of the Enterprise to ever take on the duty. The aptly titled finale, All Good Things, proved the emotional and cathartic conclusion that fans had hoped for. In the episode, Patrick Stewart's Captain Jean-Luc Picard gets sent through time to three critical periods in his life. The best part was when Picard went back to check in with fellow Enterprise crew at the beginning of their journey when they were still gearing up to take those first brave steps out into the realm of the unknown in search of strange new worlds and to seek out new life. The episode provided just the right amount of fan service to the most faithful and devoted of fan bases. Friends Created by David Crane and Marta Kaufman, Friends was all about a group of six friends in their 20s and 30s who lived in Manhattan. Throughout the show's 10-season run, audiences fell in love with Joey, Ross, Rachel, Chandler, Monica, and Phoebe. Over that decade, we got to see just about everything that 20-somethings living in the Big Apple would have to go through. So when we had to say goodbye, it was naturally a bittersweet affair. What made the Friends finale so heartwarming was the fact that we were leaving them all better off. Each character had grown up quite a bit before our eyes. On-again, off-again couple Ross and Rachel were finally together for good. Monica and Chandler had finally gotten over themselves and were now the proud parents of twins. Phoebe was happily married, and Joey was the same lovable Joey he always was. This video is brought to you by Established Titles. Have you ever been interested in being a lord or a lady? With Established Titles, now you can become one. For real. You could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on your credit card, plane tickets, etc. You can even get it on your dating profiles. You can purchase title packs that give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland. With the purchase, you'll receive an official certificate with a crest. Your certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. Established Titles told me that the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can build our little facts first kingdom. They plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future, to support global reforestation efforts. It makes an amazing last minute gift. Established Titles is actually running an early Black Friday sale, plus if you use the code FV10, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash FV10 to get your gifts now and help support the channel. St. Elsewhere The finale of this award-winning medical drama, which incidentally introduced the world to Denzel Washington, is notable for being one of the most ambitious finales in television history. If you ended a show this way in 2022, you'd get a whole lot of angry fans demanding your head. But in 88, the way St. Elsewhere ended was still pretty novel. 
At the end of the show, audiences learned that all the characters and drama that took place at Boston's St. Elijah's Hospital were actually just the daydreams of the autistic son of Ed Flanders' Dr. Westfall as he peered into a snow globe that contained a miniature of the hospital. Breaking Bad For five glorious seasons, Breaking Bad explored the nature of evil while documenting how a good man could go bad. Crime, drugs, secrets, and murder, Breaking Bad had it all. Brian Cranston, previously best known for playing the dad on Malcolm in the Middle, gave an incredible performance as high school teacher turned blue meth kingpin Walter White. White is quite possibly one of the best anti-heroes to ever be depicted on television. His descent into darkness began when he received a terminal cancer diagnosis. To provide his family with money after his passing, he decided to make a quick buck by using his chemistry knowledge to whip up a batch of methamphetamine. And as we learned through the series, everything started to go wrong. In the fantastic finale, Walter left this world behind on his own terms. In a blaze of bullet-filled glory, Walt is seen lifeless on the ground with what looked strangely like a smile on his face. After the unbelievable journey his voyage to darkness took him on, it seemed fitting he would go out in such an explosive way. Cheers! For the first few seasons of the hit NBC comedy, the the will-they-or-won't-they sexual tension between Boston bar owner Sam, played by Ted Danson, and high-class grad student turned bartender Diane, played by Shelley Long, kept audiences glued to their screens. Amazingly, the series didn't seem to lose anything after Long left and was replaced by Kirstie Alley. Still, Diane remained in the back of audiences' minds. So at the end of the show, when she showed back up, the question became whether or not Sam would leave his bar behind and follow Diane across the country. In the end, Sam remained true to his first love, his bar. How could he leave behind Norm, Woody, Cliff, and the local drinking spot where everybody knows your name? The Mary Tyler Moore Show Arguably the best workplace sitcom in TV history, The Mary Tyler Moore Show featured an incredible cast where every member was flawless, both in performance and dialogue. For the series finale, the new owners of the Minneapolis TV station WJM ended up canning the entire news team, except for Ted Knight's dim-witted anchorman, Ted Baxter. The final episode was quite emotional. Tears were shed, everyone hugged, and since it was The Mary Tyler Moore Show, those heartfelt moments were peppered with comedic gold. Newhart While Bob Newhart's second sitcom never quite reached the same heights as 1972's The Bob Newhart Show, it did surpass the original and just about every other long-running sitcom when it came to its finale. Newhart played a Vermont innkeeper. In the finale, he goes to sleep and wakes up in the Chicago bed seen in his previous series. Lying next to his wife, Emily, played by Suzanne Plachette, Newhart wakes up with a look of amusement on his face. The entire show had been one long, elaborate dream. Sure, St. Elsewhere did something similar a couple years prior, but while that ending was a bit confusing and polarizing, this one was nothing short of hilarious. MASH After being on the air for 255 episodes over 11 critically acclaimed seasons, this Korean War-era dramatic comedy series about a mobile army medical unit bid farewell with an emotional two-and-a-half-hour TV film that aired February 28, 1983. It's still the highest-rated series finale in TV history, with more than 106 million people tuning in. At the end of the series, the Korean War had come to an end, and the members of the 4077th exchanged their tearjerker farewells as they finally set out to return to their lives in the United States. The best moment of the finale was reserved for right at the end, when Alan Alda's Hawkeye Pierce is flying off in a helicopter. As he's flying off into the horizon, he looks down to see the word goodbye spelled out in rocks on the ground. Mike Farrell's B.J. Honeycutt was responsible for this touching gesture, and like that, all 106 million people watching simultaneously wiped a tear from their eyes. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think was the best series finale of all time? What about the worst? Let us know in the comments section below.